This is going to be a tutorial video about how to use Vernier Graphical Analysis, which is a free app on the iPad or on the iPhone. When I open up Graphical Analysis, I can create an experiment or import data into it. In this case, I'm going to create an experiment and I'm going to use manual entry. They give me a column. I can change the title of each column just by holding on to it, by long clicking on it. In this case, I can make the x-axis time, what do you know, it would be seconds. And my y-axis could be position. My units would be meters. And let's just create some sample data. You may notice the relationship that I am typing in. If you want to export your data, you can always click the share button on the top right, the square with the arrow, and you can mail it to somebody or you can message it to somebody. And if you do message it to someone, someone in your lab group perhaps, it saves it as a .csv file, which is similar to an Excel file, which is basically a spreadsheet. That spreadsheet data can be imported into Logger Pro or other programs. But in this case, let's hit the wrench button on the top right, and it will give me the option of graphing my data. Let's hit one graph now. You can see my points being plotted. If you want to auto fit the graph, just double tap the screen, and it auto scales it. If you double tap it again, it goes back. You can pinch to zoom in or zoom out. Either is fine. Or you can even click the bottom left button, the settings button, and you can change the range to whatever values you would like. You can also put on a, a title for your graph, position versus time and you could change appearance to be lines or both but in this case we want it to be points okay once you have your graph data you can analyze a small section on it just by dragging your finger over that selection let's delete it or it can drag over the entire selection as well now I could write an annotation and I can do fits in this case, if I think it's a linear straight fit, fit then it will create a straight line, it will create a slope, and y-intercept on the right side. However, my linear fit obviously does not fit here, so let's tap once and bring the um, annotation back. And this looks quadratic or parabolic, basically. And now we see their data fits perfectly. And we have the y equals ax squared plus bx plus c on the right hand side. Now, normally you would write down your line formula onto your um, lab book. But in this case, let's actually linearize our data, which you will learn to do also. If we go back to table, let's create a new column. The option of creating columns is only available for manual entry of data. Whenever you import data, you will not be able to create co columns manually, though you can always copy and paste it over. In this case, I'm going to long click on it. I'm going to name it time squared. My units would therefore be second squared. I, ha I will square all the values myself, 1, 4, 9, 16, and 25. And yes, I know the columns have identical data, but that's just the nature of the made-up numbers I used. Let's go back to one graph now. We still see our original graph from before, but if you tap on either the y-axis, you can choose your variables, or if you tap on the x-axis, you can choose your variables there as well. In this case, I'm going to choose time squared. 
I also have the option of choosing to show two graphs here. So one would be position time, one would be position time squared. I'll double tap on the one I want to auto scale, and you can see the two different ones here now. But let's just go back to one graph so we can view it a little bit better. In this case, it's of course no longer quadratic. If we highlight our selection, this looks like it's going to be a linear fit. In fact, it is. So they give us a slope value and a y-intercept value as well over here. And with these numbers, you can create your mathematical model to be put into your lab book. If you want to take this data and import it into your lab book, simply click on the top right share button, square with an arrow. Now you have the option of course sending it to your group through email or through iMessage, but the problem is that it saves it as a PDF file, which is rather hard to import into your lab book. So rather than a PDF file, let's actually share it by saving image. So if I click Save Image, it makes a .png file, which I can then go into my camera roll and give to my group members or upload to Google Drive. An interesting option of, as well is to use the Statistics button. The Statistics button is usually more useful if you have a horizontal line and I will show you guys that with some new data. So let's actually go back now to experiments and create one more experiment. Manual entry again. This time I'm going to make a velocity time graph. Make us some time values. Okay. Now you can see that my values are approximately double. I'm doing that for a reason. Okay. Now, if I graph this data out, you're going to see a trend where it's increasing over here and it seems to be relatively constant over there. So for the part that's increasing, I'm just going to highlight, drag and highlight over this first part over here, and it looks pretty linear. And we have our selection, and we can see that the correlation is almost a perfect one. So you give me a slope value. Now for this next part, I'm not really as interested in the fact that it's pretty much staying the same. Like I could use a linear fit and look at the y-intercept, but rather than using curve fit, I'm just going to do statistics for the second part. Now with the statistics, I can see that the average value of the statistics is 8 meters per second, meaning that as it went from each point to each point to each point, it averaged around 8 meters per second, meaning there was approximately a constant velocity. So it's easier to use statistics when you want to find the average value. And standard deviation is also given, but we're not really going to look at that right now. And that is how you use Rainier Graphical Analysis. I will also later show you how to import data into Graphical Analysis to be analyzed. Thank you.